decorations. I think you missed a spot. I can still see a piece of your lawn. Well, I like your decorations, too. In case you hadn't noticed, it is Christmas time. Well, how could you not notice on this street? Me? I like to do my own thing. Which is? Hmm. Nothing, I guess. Uh, have a good day. I gotta stick around and finish my book. Deadline's the end of the month. Is that going? Eh, you know. Another bestseller, I take it. You want some of the beer? Mmm. Got any more of that guacamole? Yeah, that was good stuff. Where'd you get it? I made it. It's one of the recipes from my book. Oh, yeah, that's right. You didn't read it, did you? You can make someone a great wife someday. <laughs> <laughs> Game's back on. So, there is something that I want to talk to you about. Let Steve propose. No. <laughs> if he had, we'd be drinking champagne right now. <laughs> well, tell me, what is it? What do you want to tell me? Okay, it's about the orchestra. So, Ivan Samuel is retiring at the end of the season, and they're starting auditions soon. And? Why are you telling me? Because I think you should audition. <laughs> Wait, no. Are you serious? No. No, 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 you... No, you know what happens to me when I audition. So you get the hiccups. I bet you they wouldn't even notice. Do you remember the ninth grade recital auditions? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I mean, there's got to be a way to get over that. No, I have, I have tried everything. Just think about it. How awesome it would be if you got in and we could play together. I mean, it's always been our dream. Look, there is a thing. 
those who can do and those who can't teach. But you're a good teacher, April, but you're a great violinist. You're just afraid to find that out. No, no. I am afraid to audition. There is a clear difference there. Enough about me. How are you and Steve? How's the restaurant? Good. It's his first Christmas since he bought the restaurant, so he's just working around the clock. <laughs> I'm fine, but your niece and nephew were a little disappointed you didn't make it over here yesterday. I told you I would try to make it by, but it, it turns out some of the guys came by for the game and, well, you know. How about stopping by today? Oof, uh, sorry, I can't. I got a meeting with my agent and then I have some writing I need to get done. When are Dana and Bruce coming home? Your sister and brother-in-law will be home day after tomorrow. Well, I, I'll, I'll try to make it over there before then. I promise. Eric, don't let the kids down. They want to spend some time with their uncle. <laughs> don't make me feel guilty or anything. Isn't that what mothers do best? See you soon, sweetheart. All right. Bye, Mom. Another extension? Look, Eric, we've already got you two. I don't think the publisher will go for it. Why not? I'm one of their best-selling authors, right? I'll give it a try. Just between us, what's taking you so long? I mean, it's not like you're writing War and Peace. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, come on, Eric. I ripped you for 10 years. These books are pretty formulaic. Honestly, why are you having such a hard time all of a sudden? Honestly? I think I'm finally getting tired of writing the same thing. No, that's not good. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> Just remember, you want to keep the bow between the fingerboard and the bridge. It's very important. All right, let's try it again. Afternoon, April. Conrad? I really must commend you on your decorations this year. Aw, <laughs> thank you. Now, if we could just get everyone else on board. Oh, I think he's a lost cause. I mean, would it really be that much trouble to... Afternoon, Mr. Redford. Glad I ran into you. Really? Why's that? The neighbors have generously offered to decorate your front yard. You won't even have to lift a finger. Thanks anyway. But I happen to like my house just the way it is. That's why I bought it. Maybe just a couple of strings. No. Thanks. I'm good. Hey, Nick. How's the writing coming? It's not. Well, you better find some inspiration fast because the publisher says no more extensions. Uh, you all right? Sorry, 
get used to that. <laughs> Don't get used to that. So, what's up? The groom had cold feet. I had to start the wedding march three times before he walked down the aisle. Huh. Well, I, I got to, um... Coming. <laughs> Your blind date had to leave. What blind date? Oh, he's a friend of Steve's. He's an ER doctor. We thought you two might hit it off, but he got called out on an emergency, so. Mm -hmm. Don't you two ever stop? No. <laughs> Looks like a full house tonight. Minus one. Oh, another potential husband down the drain. Isn't this everything I told you it would be? Yeah, it's uh, very... Romantic, I know. appreciate it if you could play at someone else's table. We're just trying to have a quiet dinner. Oh, of course. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you the way my students obviously have. <laughs> I guess she heard. What was that all about? That's my neighbor. You know, the one who won't decorate for Christmas? Oh. Guess he's not much of a music lover. <laughs> He's kind of cute, though. Hello? Mom? Hey, how's my favorite daughter? As your only daughter, that joke never gets old. Shouldn't you be getting on a plane right now? Yeah, uh, about that, our flight was canceled. Uh, actually, all of the flights were canceled. There is a massive snowstorm and everything's been shut down. Oh, my. So how are the kids? Good, good, they're sleeping. Uh, Bruce is on the phone trying to find out when we might get a flight back. Well, don't you worry about anything. They can stay with me as long as you need. It seems to be four or five days, maybe even a week before the airport reopens. A week? Oh, my goodness, Mom, did you hear that? I did. You might not make it back in time for Christmas. We've never missed a Christmas with the kids before. Sarah, do you mind looking after the kids for another few days? Of course not. You know I love to have them. Thanks, Mom. Love you. Bye. Take care, you two. Okay. I think I'm I'm I did not think we were going to make it out of there in one piece. Remind me not to do any more Christmas shopping. At least for a while. <laughs> I can't believe after all of that shopping and I still don't have all of my presents. I mean, I'm done. The last few things I bought were for me. <laughs> oh, do you have time for tea? The Carlisles doing their special Christmas tea again this year. Oh, I wish I could, but I have to go to rehearsal. No. Oh, before I forget, I have something for you. Mm, what is it? It's an early Christmas present. I don't understand. What is it? It's the date and time of your audition. I didn't agree to this. What have you got to lose? Oh, are we still on for skating this week? Uh, yeah. Okay. Bye.
Hi, Mom. Hello? Before you say anything, I was gonna try to make it over there later today to see the kids. You have to come over now. Why? What's wrong? Oh, I, I think it's the flu. I'm feeling achy all over, and I think I have a fever, and I'm in no condition to look after the kids. <laughs> so you're gonna have to come and pick them up. Well, I could take them for a day, but aren't Dan and Bruce gonna be back tomorrow? No, they're stuck in Norway. What does that mean exactly? Oh, haven't you been listening to the news? No, I've been trying to write a book. Northern Europe is covered in a blanket of snow they're calling the snowstorm of the century. So you're going to have to come over here and pick up the kids and look after them until I'm better or until Dana and Bruce get back, whichever comes first. Eric? Are you still there? Uh, yeah. Uh, how long does the flu usually last? Oh, at my age, who knows? And why would anyone hold a business conference in Norway in the middle of the winter? Well, you're going to have to ask Bruce that when you see him. Look, honey, the kids are all packed up. You just get here as soon as you can. Check, please. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. That was very thoughtful. Mom, are you sure I should be taking the kids? You know how bad my luck is around this time of year. Are you still convinced you've got that Christmas jinx? Why do you think I've gone out of town the past four years? Well, you're stuck in town now. Maybe you'll finally get over it. Kids, your Uncle Eric is here. Come on. Okay, bye. Be good, you two. Bye, Grandma. Be well. Who's ready to have some fun with their Uncle Eric? We're not going to sit in there. Well, let's not jump to conclusions. I'm not sitting on anyone's lap. I wasn't thinking that. We'll figure it out. Mom's car is just in the garage, and it can fit all of us.
about this one? Yeah. Oh, this one's nice, right? It's not too small. It is too small. Okay, what'd you have in mind? Something a lot bigger. Are you kidding me? This thing looks like it belongs in Rockefeller Center. It's just like the ones Mom and Dad always get. Are you sure? I don't recall them being this big. Fine. Excuse me. We'll take this one. Okay, wait, no, no. I will get all of the ingredients for the Christmas cookies then. Okay, good. Oh, can you play at the restaurant on Wednesday night? Can't. I am playing at an anniversary party. That's too bad. Why? What are you up to? Steve maybe got the ER doctor to come back on Wednesday night. <laughs> he was gonna make a special menu and everything. Maybe we could do a Thursday night instead? That might work. I am playing at a Corbin Christmas party that afternoon, but I could probably get there by seven. Oh, have you given any more thought to the audition? Opportunities do not come around like this every day. I know, and I am thinking about it. Okay, good. I love you. Love you. Brat. Yeah, whatever. Okay, I got this. Uh, Be careful. Oh, oh shit. That wasn't good. Oh, wow, that is quite a tree you have there. Tell me about it. We picked it out ourselves. I like your decorations. Oh, thank you. Your kids? No, no, I don't have kids. This is my niece and nephew, Chelsea and Liam. Hi. Hey, Chelsea. Hey, Liam. Sorry, I don't know your name. April. And your uncle? Eric. Eric Redford. Nice to meet you. Uh, can I help you carry this? That'd be great. Thanks. You think Conrad will notice? Uh, he notices everything. <laughs> You're better at this than you're driving. Oh, it's gonna take a lot of ornaments to fill up this tree. We forgot to buy ornaments. Can't you just pretend it has ornaments? I mean, your kids. Use your imagination. I don't think I can pretend that good. Oh, come on, Chels. The smell alone's plenty Christmassy, right? Am I right? Oh! No. Look, I have a lot of extra ornaments at my house that you can use. Of course you do. Bet the inside of your house looks like Santa's workshop. Close to it. Wow! Can we go over there and see it? Maybe another time, Chelsea. I got a lot of work to do. Well, it's okay. I can take them. I'm sure they'll really love it. That's what I'm afraid of. Please, please. Go ahead. All right, I'll come on, guys. Thanks, Lock. Come on, bye, Uncle Ed. Don't break anything. I'll just be here setting up the Christmas tree. Fun, fun, fun. All by myself.
Thanks for doing all that for my niece and nephew. Uh, well, I guess it's no secret that I love Christmas. And the way I look at it, I just got the chance to decorate a second Christmas tree, so... You remind me of someone I used to know. She was crazy about Christmas, too. Well, I hope I didn't bring back any bad memories. Well, that's a whole other reason why I don't like Christmas. But you made the kids very happy. I just hope it lasts until my sister and her husband get back so I can finish my book. Well, it was my pleasure. Good luck with that book. Nice. thing in my front lawn. You happen to know how he got here? No. I've never seen him before. What are you going to do with him? Curb him. And hopefully whoever put him here will take him back. I can see you. Would it really be so hard for you to get into the Christmas spirit? I mean, just like a little bit? What do you call that Christmas tree that's taking up half my living room? Because I call that Christmas spirit. And then some. Maybe there's hope for you. Hope for me. <laughs> Come in. Hey. Hey. Oh, did I tell you I talked to Mom last night? She's coming on Christmas Day. I know. I am so excited to see her. <laughs> she's going to be so happy. She misses the snow so much now that she's in Florida. I know. Thank you so much for letting me keep Steve's presents here. Oh, yeah. No problem. Oh, I noticed your cute neighbor has a Santa Claus on his lawn. Did he, uh, did he come around? <laughs> no, not really. But he did put up a Christmas tree for his niece and nephew while they're staying with him. So cute. How do you know that? Oh, I met him when he knocked over Conrad's uh, reindeer with his tree. Come again? Uh, <laughs> it, was, it was not, it was his thing. But, um, you know, it turns out he's not really that bad of a guy. And you found out all of this from a short conversation on his front lawn. Easy. I helped him carry in the Christmas tree, and, and then I helped him decorate, uh -huh. and it was... It's no big deal. Stop. <laughs> so? Who is he? Uh, well, his name is Eric Redford. He's a writer, and Wait, he... Eric Redford? Are you serious? Why, have you heard of him? <sighs> Only because of Steve. Steve owns, like, all of his books. And his books are part of the reason why Steve still has not proposed. What kind of books does he write? Oh, only the kind that give men great reasons to stay single. Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. So how's it going over there? So far, so good. See, I told you there was no such thing as a Christmas jinx. <laughs> how's the book coming? Slowly. Uh, how are you feeling? Are you ready to take the kids back soon? Oh, <coughs> I wish I could, honey, but this flu has really knocked me out. I, I better go. I'll see you soon. <coughs> Talk to you soon. Christmas presents. 
Last minute, why? Don't worry, you're on my list. It's not that. Well, then what's the problem? We have to buy our Christmas presents for Mom and Dad. Yeah, could you take us shopping? Sure, I can do that. Come with me. This is how I shop for Christmas every year. Gift cards. Makes life so much easier. That's not how we shop. We need art supplies, glue, paper, and glitter. You, you make your presents. Yeah, some of them. And besides, do you need gifts for, like, Mom, and Dad, and Grandma, and your friends, and us? Can I just get you guys gift cards, too? No. <laughs> it's eight days until Christmas. The stores are going to be packed. But we have to see Santa Claus. And that's where he is. Santa Claus. Yeah, no, I, I get it, Liam. Please, Uncle Eric. Please. All right. Go get ready for bed. Hey, Bridget. Good morning. You're not calling to cancel lunch, are you? How about we go Christmas shopping instead? I would love that. Great. Oh, and by the way, I have my niece and nephew, so they'll be coming too. Is that okay? Oh, yeah, sure. I love kids. Well, we'll pick you up a new. Christmas shopping? Isn't that a little traditional for you? I suppose I deserve that. Liam and Chelsea guilted me at the table. Oh, are they here? Yeah, they're uh, waiting in line to visit Santa. My friend Bridget's over there with them. I thought I'd use the time to buy my mom a gift, but I don't even know where to begin. Would you have any suggestions? They have some really cute stuff over here. I found these adorable Christmas bumps. Okay, you're up next. Oh, 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 now, what's your name? Are you Uncle Eric's girlfriend? I think so. year I did, someone stole my car. And it wasn't just any car. It was a 1965 Corvette Stingray. I bought it after I sold my first book. I stole it right out of the mall parking lot just before Christmas. That was six years ago. And is that the reason you don't celebrate Christmas? Just another one of many. There are more? <sighs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> What about jewelry? This guy has some amazing, one-of-a-kind stuff. Now, that's something she would like. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, what about that necklace? That is pretty. Excuse me, would you mind if we took a look at this? Sure thing. That's beautiful. Would you try it on? Uh, sure. Nice on you. Thanks. You should get it. Oh, no. Uh, I am not doing any Christmas shopping for myself this year. You don't have anyone you could drop a hint to this Christmas? No. Really? <laughs> no. I didn't mean anything by that. I just... It's hard to believe. I guess Bridget could use some saving. I should probably go. Yeah. Thanks for your help. Again. <laughs>
So, we good now? I mean, you got your tree, your presents, and you visited Santa today. So, we're, we're done, right? Yeah, I guess so. So, why don't you go upstairs and get ready for bed? I'm not tired. Really? I'm not tired either. Okay, so, what do you want to do? Can we watch a movie? Please, Uncle Eric. All right. You go pick one out. I'll go make the popcorn. Chelsea are asleep on the couch. We were watching a movie and they passed out on me. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> so how are you feeling? Oh. <coughs> Oof. Well, a little better. My throat is still scratchy. How are you making out over there? I took the kids Christmas shopping today. <laughs> Next thing you know, you'll be telling me you bought a Christmas tree. Oh, we got a Christmas tree. That was Dana's idea. Liam and Chelsea have talked me into everything else. Everything else? You know, everything they normally do during Christmas time. I don't know how Dan and Bruce do it every year. <laughs> well, you stay strong, sweetheart. And remember, you're the boss. Give them my love. I will. Okay. Now you have everything you need to make your Christmas cards, right? Uh-huh. Because I need to work undisturbed for the next few hours. So unless it's really, really important, you're on your own. We good? Yep. We're gonna be busy for a long time. Great. Hopefully I will be too. Santa's on his way. The stars hung on the tree. But it's just not the same. He's gonna here with me. So Santa, if you hear me, I hope you got my list. Cause all I want for Christmas is the perfect Christmas kiss from my baby. quiet out there. Hey, guys? Kids, where are you? Liam? Chelsea? Liam? Chelsea? Hey. Are Chelsea and Liam here? Yeah. Thank you. 
Wow. Yeah, a, a lot of those belong to my dad, and when he passed away, he left them to me. I've just been adding to him ever since. He, um, he was a jazz pianist, actually, and he taught me everything I know. And now the student has become a teacher. Well, <laughs> you gotta stick to what you do best. I get that. It's basically what I've been doing the past few years of my writing. Except lately, it's been a bit of a struggle. I mean, not that I don't love writing. I, I do, it's just... And apparently you love what you write about. <laughs> bachelor lifestyle and all. Yeah, well, believe it or not, there's more to me than just being a bachelor. Oh, so the Corvette, late nights, and poker games is not really you? Maybe not so much anymore. I mean, after all, I am driving a minivan these days. I kind of like it. <laughs> How did he get back on my lawn? I have no idea. <laughs> well, he's not staying there. I'll bring the kids back in about an hour. Thanks. Chelsea, we got a fresh bucket of popcorn. So my buddies are gonna be here any second. What do you want to do? You want to play a game, watch TV, read? Could we read one of your books? Mom and Dad talk about them all the time. Oh yeah? What do they say? Mom says they're juvenile. That means they're for kids, right? Not intentionally, no. Look, why don't you just watch TV, okay? I'll be up later to check on you. You okay, Chelsea? Yeah. You like that show? Yeah. How's that? Oh. Does Mr. Moose like that show? Mr. Moose, do you like that show? Yes, I do. Yes, he does. <laughs> Chelsea's Christmas list. Well, I don't know what's happening anymore. <laughs> I'm out. Me too. Come to Papa. Hey, I'm getting up. You guys want anything? Some pretzels. All right. Uh, could you not leave your empty beer cans lying around? There's kids in the house, you know? Who are you right now? Yeah. And what have you done with Eric? Very funny. Seriously, all of a sudden it's like playing poker with Mr. Mom. So you're basically telling me the reason we always play poker here is because I don't have a wife and kids. Well... Yeah. There's no way my wife would let me have three rowdy guys over playing cards till two in the morning. Or have a bunch of guys over to watch a game every week. Face it, you're the last man standing, bro. It's not that we don't love our families. It's, it's just, just that here you can put your glasses down on the counter without a coaster. You can eat all the junk food you want. And we can be loud and rowdy without waking the kids. Amen. And what do you think I've been writing about for the last seven years? I have no idea. I've never read any of your books. <laughs> Why do I invite this guy? I don't know. I didn't know you did. It's your deal. Okay. Hey, bonjour, mademoiselle. <laughs> How was the performance? It was good. I'm starving. Oh, well, tonight, our special is en belle chevalier with a saffron <laughs> semolina. <laughs> it's my grandmother's recipe, and it's a die for. Very cute. How's April doing with the doctor? Well, it's going really well, I think. Mm -hmm. He's on the move. Now's your time. For what? You know. To ask her. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> hey! Hey! I wanted to bug you about your audition. I have been practicing, if that's what you want to know. I talked with the conductor about you tonight. He's really excited to hear you play. Okay. How are things going with the doctor? He seems nice. I'm so happy for you. I said he <laughs> seems nice. Okay, whatever. So, Steve has a favor to ask, but he is too embarrassed to do it himself, so he has recruited me. What is it? He would like to know if he will ask your neighbor to sign a few of his books. I know, 
know it's really embarrassing coming from me given what I think about them, but yeah. <laughs> oh, these are too amazing. I mean, of course, yes, I will ask him. <laughs> the things we do for love. <laughs> Help me. Do you smell bad? <laughs> Wonderful evening, because that was awesome. Oh, yeah, Brian won it all, right? It was the first time for everything. Hey, you got a set of fives on the river. It's like the luckiest hand ever. No, no, no. You got to know when to fold them. Okay. I'll win again next week. Yeah, you keep thinking that. Hey, man. Next week? Yeah, next week. Later, guys. See ya. Give it up. I don't want your little Santa or your snowman. I haven't a clue what you're rambling about. I'm talking about these decorations you keep leaving on my lawn. Not the guilty party. Well, then who is? Well, maybe you've been visited by some Christmas elves. <laughs> Anyways, um, I should go practice. 
You sound amazing. I, I heard you when I was outside earlier. Oh. Uh, I hope it wasn't too loud. Not at all. Wasn't that Debussy you were playing? Yeah. Uh, the girl with the flaxen hair. I've never heard that as a violin solo. You're really talented. Thank you. I just wish that talent was enough. What do you mean? Uh, I have this uh, audition with the Philharmonic, and I have this history of botching my auditions. How? your body. No, definitely do not want to do that while playing the violin. No, that sounds very stupid. <laughs> All right, me method two. Meditate for 15 to 20 minutes before going on stage. That no, could be good. I tried that. Sounds good. <laughs> it didn't work for me. O okay, uh, <laughs> moving on. Uh, method three. Laugh as much as you can. Please do not say that. Wait, you think I'm making this stuff up? No, yeah, okay, look. Um, yeah, no, it's yeah, yeah, no, it, it does. It, it does. definitely says that. <laughs> okay, well, method four um, seems a little bit more reasonable. Imagine that every seat in the audience is filled with a clone of your favorite person, preferably someone who encourages you. Well, that does seem very reasonable. I'm sure you have plenty of people who would fit the bill. I have one or two. Great. Then you're covered. Thanks. And thank you for these. Anytime. See ya. Bye. Hey, Bridget. Oh. Hi. I didn't realize they were coming to the party with us. Coming with a stranger? Uh, what about that music teacher neighbor of yours? April, I barely know her. And besides, Nick set up a screening room in one of the offices. They got a ton of kids' movies. Uncle Eric told us to be in our best behavior tonight. And be extra nice to you. Okay. All the kids are having a great time in there. Yeah, that was, uh, that was a great idea. Thanks, Nick. Your date doesn't look too happy. She didn't expect me to bring Liam and Chelsea out with us. I guess you'll have to make that up to her. Yeah. Thanks. I hate to bug you, but um, how's the book coming? Not much better than the last time you asked. Have you tried writing in a different environment? <laughs> that might help. I've tried every coffee house and park bench in town. Mm -hmm. Are you going to be able to make your deadline? I mean, I hate to say it, but if you don't, you could be in breach of contract. No pressure. Mm -hmm. Thanks for that, Nick. I, I, I guess I'm gonna go big. Do that. Hey, neighbor. Hey. Nice candy canes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. You want me to put some in your yard? <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> hey, um, do you like ice skating? Because Elaine and I are gonna go tonight, and. I thought maybe you and the kids could tag along. That sounds fun. Well, uh, I, I can't. I have a prior thing. But thanks. The kids would love that. Well, they're welcome to come with us, if, if you don't mind. No, you, you've done enough. I wouldn't want to impose. Not at all. It, it'd be fun. Really? Yeah. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll let them know. Okay, cool. Thanks. All right, see you later. See ya. You sure you don't want some candy canes? I'm good. <laughs>
lately, but things will get better once I finish my book. Once your sister gets back and picks up the kids? Yeah, well, that too. <laughs> you should have heard Liam and Chelsea on the phone with Dana. Yeah, they, they were just going on about how much fun they're having with me. I'd say you're having as much fun as they are. Why shouldn't I? You know, they're my niece and nephew. Because one of the things that first attracted me to you was the fact that you don't have kids. But lately, you've been acting a lot more like a doting father than someone who writes about being a single guy. Well, what's wrong with that? <laughs> the truth is, Eric, you're nothing like your books at all. <laughs> so, where's we have some uncle tonight? He had plans. Well, you're a very good neighbor. <laughs> is there something going on between you two? You are incorrigible. What? Yes. It's my job to be a pest. If I don't find you a handsome husband, who's going to? I will. I will find myself a handsome husband. <laughs> I like the kids, they like me, and we are having fun. Right. And there's nothing romantic between you two. No. Then, uh, I guess we're all good here. You're here early? Yeah, my uh, prior engagement didn't go so well. The woman from the restaurant? Yeah. Uncle Eric, look at me! <laughs> wow, Chelsea! You're an amazing skater! I know. And humble. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, do you want to go get some hot chocolate? Yes! Okay. <laughs> Not even a question. Everybody loves hot chocolate. So join us! No, I'm, I'm good here. I'm not gonna take no for an answer. I don't have any skates. They rent them here. Come on! I'll be right back. I'll show you my moves! My super oh, did you see that? I just turned. Woo! Thanks again for looking after the kids. And they really love spending time with you. I'm sorry that your previous engagement didn't turn out well. Well, apparently Bridget prefers me as an uncovered single guy without any kids around. So she would prefer to be with the kind of guy that you read about in your books. Wait, you? I, I read your books, the, the ones that you signed for Steve. <laughs> you hated them, didn't you? Actually, no, I didn't. I thought there was an honesty to what you were saying, and I think you're a really good writer. It's... Go on. I can take it. I only read a few of your books, but it kind of feels like you're saying the same thing, just in different I ways. I know, I know. I've been saying it since my 20s. You know that quote, it takes courage to grow up and be who you really are? No, I don't think that's a real quote, but I like the way it sounds. Okay, well, maybe it's time for me to admit that I'm growing up. Maybe you should write about that in your books, huh? I'm still putting the pieces together, but you know what? I think they're falling into place. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you go, big guy. Stronger. Lots of fun. I'm glad you have a lot of good moves. I love that. Great job. Thanks, love you. Are you gonna buy one of these? Hey, go be ready for bed. I'll be out there in a minute. Come on, Chelsea. Good night, you guys. Good night, April. Bye. Can we walk you home? It's a rough neighborhood out there. <laughs> okay. Oh, gosh, how can you deny that Christmas is just the best time of year? The air is so cool and crisp. You can smell the fireplaces. The stars are twinkling in the sky. And all of these lights is just so magical. I can't deny that it's pretty. Charming and all that other stuff. But it reminds me of something I'd rather not remember. That person that I remind you of. Only in the sense that she was all about Christmas, too. So, one year I decided to give her the ultimate Christmas present. I proposed on Christmas Eve. Ring and all. What I didn't know is that she fallen in love with someone else. I 
can see why you'd want to forget that. Now you know the real reason I don't do Christmas. Or have much fondness for women who do. Well, that's not exactly true. Anymore. Well, I'm glad to hear that. And a lot of that's your fault. Well, I take full responsibility. Uncle Eric! I should... You should be. Probably the best you probably, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Good night. Night. Hey, um... Uh, I'm really glad that you came ice skating with us tonight. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was. This is April Stewart, and I am calling to confirm my four o'clock audition for today. <sighs> yeah, thank you. Nick, I had an amazing breakthrough yesterday, and I worked all night. But I gotta warn you, I kind of went off in a different direction. How different? Look, just read it, okay? I'm gonna send you the pages in a few minutes, and we'll talk later. Hey, guys, breakfast is ready. No, I'm just moving things around. My audition is this afternoon, so I'm just trying to keep myself distracted. Well, I have no doubt that you will crush it. <laughs> what piece are you going to play? I haven't decided yet. Well, if I were you, I'd play that Christmas one you've been practicing. I mean, look around. It's you. True, but I just don't think it's the best piece for an audition. But it's a great piece, and it shows who you are. And isn't that what you want the orchestra to see? Oh, uh, I almost forgot. <laughs> I wanted to return your plate. Oh, thank you. And let you know that I stayed up all night writing. And after we spoke, it dawned on me. If I don't believe what I'm writing, my readers won't either. Having Chelsea and Liam around, it kind of put things in perspective. And then the words just started pouring out of me. <laughs> wow. Well, I mean, maybe it was the cookies. <laughs> they 
it definitely didn't hurt. But seriously, you were the inspiration. Well, hopefully I have inspired my students too. You know, tonight's a big test. Tonight? The neighborhood Christmas caroling. Uh. <laughs> Maybe you'll uh, join us? Oof. <laughs> Hey guys, we gotta go and see my agent. Thanks for coming in. I felt we needed to talk this out in person. That doesn't sound good. No, no, not at all. Come on, Nick, we've known each other for too long. You hated the pages, didn't you? I don't hate them, but this isn't what the publisher bought. That worries me. Look, I know it's different. It's, oh, this is not just different. This is a whole new genre for you. Can't that be a good thing? It can also be a dangerous thing. We're gambling with your career here in Utah, Well, I Well, that's a gamble I'm willing to take. What, no gift card? on your Christmas decor. Let's not push it. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. It is so exciting to have you here once again. If everyone's ready, let's go out and spread some Christmas cheer. <laughs> December 22nd, for the past 20s. 
seven years. But the live accompaniment just started a few years ago when I moved here. Well, you're lucky to have you. And so would any orchestra. How'd that audition go? Pretty good. Yeah, I, I used method number four and uh, no hiccups. Nice. <laughs> They said we will uh, hear something by the end of the month, so I'm just trying to keep my mind off of it. Well, I promised the kids we'd watch a movie tonight. Why don't you join us? Maybe that would help you keep your mind off of it. You're not writing tonight? I am also trying to stay preoccupied. Turning my new pages, I'm waiting to hear back from my publisher. Maybe we can uh, stay distracted together. I'm offering the popcorn. One thing you should know about me. I am a master popcorn popper. Oh, I thought I knew everything about you from your books. Well, don't you know you shouldn't judge a book by its cover? Or the author? We'll see. Expecting you. Yeah, I know. I was um, just about to leave you a note. I'm sorry about the other night. Don't be. You were being honest. <laughs> Blunt would be more accurate. <laughs> and I realized we left things unresolved. So I just wanted to clear the air and say I don't think we should keep dating. I think you're right. There's no hard feelings. So much, April. I, I know I keep asking to watch the kids, but when my agent calls and says it's important, I kind of got to go. And besides, if I bring the kids one more time, next level will assign them to clients. <laughs> I'm happy to help. Besides, the best part about Christmas is dropping presents, right, guys? I like getting them better. It's this guy in the house. Hey, uh, sorry about the interruption last night. If you're available, would you be up for giving it another try tonight? I mean, that is, if you're free, of course. I'm sorry, I'm working tonight. Oh, uh, okay. Good luck. Thanks. I think I just might need it. I'm glad you're sitting down. Because the publishers... loved your pages. In fact, they want to sign you to two sequels. What? Are, are you serious? Boom shakalaka! <laughs> I don't even know what to say. How about you were right and I was wrong? Well, I'm not one to throw things back in someone's face, but... No, no, I deserve it, especially this time. You were right on with the new direction. They think this is going to be huge. We can't use the old title, so they want to know what you're going to call it. Uncle Christmas. And Christmas heals the heart. That sounds like a winner, right? I need a coffee, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, I don't think this one is ours. It's probably for your grandma. No, Uncle Larry bought Grandma a watch. We wrapped it yesterday. Then who's this for? It's probably for Bridget. We'll let Uncle Eric wrap that one himself. Hey, Mom. That's my favorite lady feeling today. Better, but I'm still a little weak. Doctor wants me to stay in one more day. Well, that's terrific. You sound a 
awfully happy. I got some great news for my publisher today. They love my book. Oh, honey, I'm so proud of you. And if this doesn't prove you don't have a Christmas jinx, I don't know what will. Oh, <coughs> Eric, I have to go lie down. I, I'm feeling a little tired just now. Bye. I'll be back in a minute. I'll see you at the house. That's really great news, Eric. Congratulations. Hey, how about I open a bottle of champagne and then celebrate tonight when you get back from work? I usually get off pretty late and I'm tired, so... Okay, well, how about a rain check? I don't think so. Is something wrong? I just, I don't think it's a good idea. Look, I have a student coming in a few minutes and I... Congratulations again. Wake up, sleepyheads! Up, up, up! Come on! Five more minutes! Is it Christmas already? Not until tomorrow, but I have a surprise for you. Come on, get up! You gotta get dressed! Let's go! <laughs> I know you guys are disappointed your mom and dad aren't back yet, so I thought maybe we could start a tradition of our own. Just three of us. Go on, go get your skates. I'll meet you over there. Come on. Hey, man, glad you made it. Thanks. Where are the kids? Uh, they're already on the ice. So, uh, how are Santa and his ranger doing? What are you talking about? Your front lawn. That was you? What, you didn't figure it out? Obviously not. Well, it's a good thing you're not a mystery writer. You should put that one on the tree. Yeah. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? That's a lot of turkey for just us. The leftovers are the best part. I don't care if it's just the three of us. We are going to have a Christmas Eve to remember. Can we invite April? I thought about that, but I know she's working tonight. Besides, I think she might be mad at me. What for? I wish I knew. You can pick up that necklace. What necklace? The one you bought for Bridget. I didn't buy Bridget a necklace. Well, April said you did. It was in the bag of presents we were wrapping. She said you should wrap it yourself. That would make sense. It does? <sighs> yeah, I I'll explain it to you in a few years. Should you be out of your condition? Oh, about 
Thank you. 